Hey everyone, just got home for the day, it's 6.15 p.m. Um, I just got back from a networking event, which gave me the perfect topic to talk about in today's episode. So while I was there, I met with someone who, it was his first day at his new job, and his boss is actually the president of my Center Sphere chapter, so he took him to our Center Sphere chapter meeting this morning, as well as this after hours event for Center Sphere um, in the afternoon. And so he was just asking me kind of tips, you know, how I'm successful at my business and things like that. And it really got me to think about my strategy, I guess, and how I network. So I kind of want to share that advice with you guys. So first off, Center Sphere, my favorite networking group, that they have about 45 different chapters, they call them, in just the Omaha metro area. And so each chapter meets on a weekly basis. Uh, and you, if you don't want to make that kind of commitment, you can just join the queue, it's called, and just kind of float around and go to the socials, go to the happy hours, go to the morning coffees, and visit chapters whenever you want. And you can actually visit chapters and present to chapters whenever you want if you're, a, if you're in a specific chapter as well. And many groups are set up this way. They have lots of different chapters or tips groups. They'll have a couple different names for them. But I love Center Sphere in particular because when I joined, I joined in the queue and I visited about 35 different chapters. And as I was going around to all those chapters, about 75% of the time I was probably presenting. So I was getting a chance to speak for 10 minutes and kind of share my story and share my business and what I do. So then what I would do is while presenting or just from visiting the chapters, people would want to learn more or just get to know me better or kind of get a chance to meet with me and share what they do in a more intimate setting. So then I would get all these one-to-ones scheduled. Um, and what a one-to-one -one is, is just as it sounds. You're meeting with someone one-on-one -on -one for coffee or a drink or lunch or whatever, and you're just talking to them, sharing what you do, or more often than not, just talking life story, politics, general shared interests, things like that. So after I would present or just visit these chapters, I would have these one-to-ones. Then after that, um, after I did that for a while, I found my home base. I found a chapter that I loved and I continued going to this chapter every single week. And I still do, as you guys see in these videos. And then now I've expanded and I also invite people to my chapter visits or invite people to my chapter meetings and just kind of continue to grow, um, grow the whole the whole network that I have. And this guy that I met was very shocked, this guy that I met this evening that I was telling you about, he was very shocked that I don't pay for leads, and I don't cold call or anything like that. And I said, no, it's, this is kind of crazy, but literally just from being yourself and making these connections, you know, going and drinking with people or having coffee in the morning, meeting with someone one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, um, they just remember you if you leave a good impression, you know, if you're not trying to sell them or not trying to do anything because I kind of made that mistake when I first started networking. I would look to go to these networking groups and try to find someone that I could sell insurance to or that I could help with insurance. But I realized real quickly that that's not how you're supposed to do networking. Instead, you're supposed to meet these people, do these one-on-ones, have just gen genuinely fun and real um, conversations, and then they'll remember you when their cousin Tim Smith gets laid off and loses all his benefits and then needs health insurance for him and his family. You know, people that I met, people that I visited their chapter, you know, seven months ago will remember me out of the blue um, and just send me business, which is crazy to think about. And now that's not to say that networking is super easy and pays off right away. I recognize that I'm in an industry where there's not a lot of people like me. Not a lot of people do health insurance. So this would definitely be a much more slow process if I were, say, a realtor or a financial advisor or a home and auto insurance broker, um, because those are very, very common industries. Health insurance, not so much. But there you have it. That's kind of just my networking 101. That's all the tips that I have for you. If you're just getting into a professional field or a position, you, know, you get a promotion where now you have to manage your own book of clients or go out and find your own book of clients. 
And that's just my two cents. So I want to share that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've had any success networking. Let me know if there's some other nationwide or um, standardized networking groups like chambers, like chambers are all over the place. Let me know if there's anything like that that I maybe don't know about that you want to share with me or share with anyone else down in the comments below. Um, also, if you want to ask any more questions, drop them down in the comments, you know, to go more in depth on you know, who I look for when I'm networking or just different strategies I use, things like that. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some tangible um, advice to go out and do and help grow your businesses. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow.